More than 55,000 are on hand at Commonwealth Stadium in absolutely gorgeous conditions, Graham Leggett. Temperature about 20 degrees Celsius. That is close to 70 Fahrenheit. Wind should not be a problem on a mostly sunny, partly cloudy day. As you see, the two captains meet with the three officials. The captain for Canada, wearing number six, is Colin Miller. And the captain for the Brazilians, wearing number eight, is the 38, 30-year-old Dunga. Let's take a look at the starting 11 put on the field for Brazil by their head coach, Carlos Alberto Pereira. And except for a couple of injuries, nine of these players will start in their first game at the World Cup against Russia. And it's a very flexible 4-4-2. Tafarel, Jorginho, Aldair, and Ricardo Gomez. The back four, midfield four, Leonardo, Mauro Silva, Dunga and Zinho. And up front, Rai, Babeto, and Pomario. And there he is, the 28-year-old forward who plays with Barcelona in Spain, is Homario, and he up front with Bebeto. Homario considered one of the best in the world today, if indeed not the best player. Now the starting 11 for Canada, and their head coach, Bob Leonard -Ducey. Canada also going with a 4-4-2. Craig Forrest in goal, Yallop, Watson, Samuel, and Fraser, the back four, Carter, Colin Miller, Limniaris and Dasevich in midfield, Dominic Mobilio and Carlo Corosin, the two strikers. The head coach for the Canadian national team is Bob Lenarduzzi, a World Cup veteran himself from 1986, has been head of this Canadian team for a couple of years now, and says, quite honestly, we are going to go out, Graham, and try to frustrate the Brazilians. The difficulty will they be frustrated by Canada. Well, frustration is... Uh a useful term in soccer but uh, these Brazilians are so full of confidence I I think that the Canadians have just got to go out and play their own game and just try and keep pace with the yellow shirts it's going to be a big task but boy this should be a terrific matchup the official the referee is from Mexico makes his home in El Paso Texas that is Antonio Marufa Mendoza the two linesmen are Canadian. In fact, all three officials and the fourth official are Canadian. Working the near sideline will be Mr. Gordon Rogers, the far sideline, John Nielsen, and the fourth official is Mike Seifer. There is Mr. Mendoza, who will handle this game, and he works in the Mexican National League. This is the final tune-up for Brazil before they open World Cup 94 in the United States. Up front for Canada, Carlo Carazine, number 16, and Dominic Mobilio as we are underway. Dasovic, Corazine. Dasovic plays it forward. Mobilio, Dasovic makes the overlapping run. We look for Ian Carter on the wide left for Canada. They play it back for Mark Watson, the starting fullback, and it's intercepted by Leonardo. Wide right, Pomario. Ie has made a run, and it will be the first touch for Homario. And a buzz of expectancy every time Homario goes anywhere near the ball. His reputation has preceded him, and Carlos Pereira obviously wants a good result here against Canada. Has coached two other teams, so he now takes his third club to a World Cup. Also coached Kuwait in 82, the United Arab Emirates in 90, and now Brazil in 94. Zunga tried to play the little give and go with Jorginho, the starting right fullback, and look where Jorginho was. Well, don't be surprised if number two, Jorginho, and number six, Leonardo, play like right and left wingers. The fullbacks love to come forward. Roberto plays a little bit deeper than Romario up front. But the midfield players are all brilliant ball players. The starting keeper for Canada, the 26-year-old Craig Forrest from Ipswich Town of the English Premier Division, will receive his 24th international cap for Canada. Leonardo, Zinho. The give and go is intercepted by Mark Watson at midfield for Canada. Mobilio turns away from Mauro Silva. Oh, Colin 
Miller, Limniatis couldn't break through for Canada. Senior, and then off the Canadian, Limniatis throw in for Brazil. Leonardo. Ricardo Gomes. Aldair. Aldair, a late substitute for Ricardo Rocha, who was listed to start Graham, but has injury. Well, it eliminated a problem for us because we had Ricardo and Ricardo as the two center backs. Now we've got one Ricardo Gomes and Aldair, so it's a little easier for us. Canadian captain puts it into play. Ian Carter gives chase. Does well to hook it into play. <laughs> Carlo Potazine, who plays with Cambridge United in just his second international for Canada, and he will go to the, the near post. And up comes big Randy Samuel to the far post for this corner kick. John Limniatis. Aldair heads it away. Called by the near side linesman, Mr. Gordon Rogers. Play just over four minutes of this first half. Canada and Brazil from Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, Alberta. Indianis hooks it for Miller. Leonardo. Gomez. Dunga. Aldair. Gomez. Leonardo as the Brazilians now try to stretch it out. Zinho. And they'll play it back through Gomez. And they can't get by the halfway line. Oh, but they've still got possession, and uh, Canada doing a good job of getting goal side of the ball. Right at the moment, the uh, Brazilians just trying to get into the stride, but we saw there a taste of how they can keep the ball 18 passes in a row. The 29-year-old Aldair wears number three, plays with Roma in the Italian Serie A. The foul is against Brazil and Haye. Cross Haye wearing the prize number 10. What a history of success that number's had for Brazil. Over the head of Dasevich. Cannon is the official copy of the Canadian soccer player. Nick Dasevich, the 25-year-old, plays with the Montreal Impact of the APSL, a former all-star in the Canadian Soccer League back in 1992 and has done well to earn his spot and now played back and then Craig Forrest. Has that rule meant much to the game? No pass backs to the keeper? It certainly means that the goalkeeper has to be a little more agile with his feet than he used to be and it, it certainly gives the strikers a lot more opportunity to go in and cash in and a loose clearance by the goalkeeper. There was Dunga trying to find the angled run of Homerio. A lot of pressure expected to be on Craig Forrest. As you say, the Brazilians will shoot from anywhere and everywhere. Especially from three kicks. Unfortunately, Branco, the free kick specialist, is not playing today at fullback for Brazil, but they have capable substitutes. He run for Corazine, and it'll run too far. Carlo Corazine now plays with Cambridge United in England after spending a couple of years playing in the Italian third and second divisions. One of seven players in this Canadian squad that play in the English Premier, English First and English Second Divisions, and uh, they're doing really well. Nice to see them do well.
Jorginho from Bayern Munich. Not very often you see that. The, perhaps the best team in the world getting called for a, a false throw. John Limniatis, Ian Fraser. Little flick through. Onside, Mobilio, and he cut it out in front, looking for Nick Gaslovich, and Caparel makes his first touch. Well read by the Reggiani goalkeeper, Tafarel. Just not quite enough force on the cutback to get it past the goalkeeper, but the Brazilian keeper very quick to come off his line. Reads the game so well. Frazier for Carter. Colin Miller from St. Johnstone takes control. Mobilio tries to cut it across and does! Through the box and past Corazzi. This is Gasovic. Leonardo is right there for Brazil as Canada with just over nine minutes gone in the first half starting to take the play to Brazil. Throw in. Ooh, great kick. That, that was unlucky. Carlo Corazzi tried to do an overhead kick and they didn't see the captain Dunga come in behind him. Cut it right in the face, Dunga. Free kick blown right away by referee Antonio Maruco Moncosa. You know, over the years, Brazil have never been noted for their goalkeeper. Gilmar, of course, uh, has been goalkeeper for years and years, and his descendants, it seems, seems always the goalkeeper for Brazil's Gilmar. The problem was, Brazil was so good, the goalkeeper very seldom got anything to do. He's offside, or should have been. It's Jorginho making the run from his right fullback spot and the throw in and Jorginho not happy with it will go to Canada. The far side linesman, John Nielsen. Colin Miller, the Canadian captain, will play the square ball to this near side and in front of Mark Watson behind Dasovic. And the coach Carlos Pereira with a quick word to Leonardo. Gomes has a look. Little push. Little push by Mark Watson. Pomerio. Dunga. Look out, look out. Baro Silva. They are not a pressed try shot from anywhere. Baro Silva there. Uh, not at all satisfied with that effort. And <laughs> nor is Carlos Pereira, the coach. He is not impressed. Remarkable amount of pressure the Brazilian fans put on their team, including their head coach, Carlos Pereira, as we play 10 minutes of this first half at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, and we are still goalless. Canada and Brazil. Craig Forrest with Bobetto up and challenging. Mark Watson wins it. Limniadis. Gasovic looking for some space and surrounded quickly by three yellow shirts. And Mark Watson with Gino on his back plays it all the way back. And now the Canadians are caught. Offside. 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 Far side linesman has blown it down and that is Mr. John Nielsen and the Brazilian bench is not at all pleased but uh, there were two offside players for Brazil there and of course we spoke about putting pressure on the goalkeeper bad clearance by Forrest picked up by number nine Zinho but uh, Romario could not convert it and the linesman flag was up anyway and Homerio's chance and the way he took it seemed to indicate that he knew Limniatis! It looked closer from up here than it did on the field, that one. I know Romario had the whistle going. He, he had stopped uh, because we saw them practice yesterday and he was slotting these home 10 out of 10. Never missed once. Brilliant when he breaks through. Aldair. Ian Carter up and challenging. No 
one has ever questioned the offense of the Brazilians. Graham, it's defensively where there has always been or seemingly a problem. We'll score. We'll gladly give up five because we know we're going to score six. Has that changed? That's changed dramatically. The, they've realized that they cannot go the seven games it takes to win the World Cup with only just forwards to rely on. And, and you'll see that this defense is well marshaled, strong in the air, and uh, they still can use the ball, though. They still love to put work on the ball. Okay. Mark Watson. Well covered by Mark Watson there. Romario is so quick off the mark that, that when he turns, he's about three steps ahead of his marker. Oh, Limni had us try to quick. slide it through. Here's a check. Corner scene. And getting over neatly was Ricardo Gomez. He plays his soccer in Paris Saint-Germain, Ricardo Gomes. Leonardo. While we were speaking about the defense of the Brazilians, Ricardo Gomes comes diving in here to block this shot. Lots of courage, and his timing was perfect. Dunga at midfield. Zinho, this is Bebeto. Oh, and they just slow off the mark as, again, they're trying to find those little angled runs through the back four, and it was directed towards Romario. I'm really surprised that they're trying to go through the middle with uh, Randy Samuel and Frank Yellow, two very experienced defenders there. I thought perhaps they would have gone wide on the wings the fullbacks forward but right now it's uh, still the opening stages they're trying to feel the way and Canada doing a super job in containing them so far now right. Canada comes near sideline Oops, oh, Gasovic on really what is a, a, a terrific field the pitch is in great great shape magnificent condition and there was a little rain shower overnight so the ball is skidding just a little bit you saw Gasovic lose his uh, footing there Yallop tangles with Bebeto. She cuts the mark up that uh, Samuel's going to take Romario and Frank Yallop's going to take Bebeto. Leonardo, Zinho, Mauro Silva, Aldair as they play the ball square. Bebeto is in the middle. Romario falls back. Dunga under some pressure gets away from the Canadian captain Colin Miller and now played through and Watson plays it back again for Forrest. Leonardo can't control off his chest and possibly a break now for Canada as Corazzi volleys the ball harmlessly to Tapparel. The intention was good. Ian, Ian Carter had broken on the left wing but Carlo Corazzi could not quite get the pass across to him. And there we see again that Tapparel Dribbles outside the box rather than kick it from hand, prefers to kick it from the turf. Brandy Samuel plays his soccer in Holland with Fortuna Sitter. Leonardo. Mauro Silva. Bebeto. Dunga. Ai plays it wide right. Jorginho is overlapping. Mauro Silva. Ai, Leonardo, Zinho, Leonardo. And if you're Canada, well, you're, I guess you're quite content to let them play all they want as long as they don't get through. As long as they don't get behind you, Canada doing a good job of getting both sides of the ball, picking the man up, and so far, Forrest has not been tested. Mauro Silva. Gomes. Frank Gallup. Ian Fraser. Colin Miller. Lindy Addison. Finally, somebody brings it down to feet. Miller. For Mark Watson. And a push in behind on Corazine by Ricardo Gomes. Go 
Gomes, the captain of the 1990 Brazilian World Cup team. The ball skips by Dominic Mobilio. The former Golden Boot winner, the top scorer in the Canadian Soccer League in 1991, scored 25 goals. Dominic Mobilio currently plays for the Vancouver 86ers of the APSL. Ian Frazier, who they say had a very strong game, Graham, against Morocco this past week in Montreal. And certainly, if you're Canada, you have to be very happy with the start. Absolutely delighted, Bobby Lenardos, he must be, because he's not really sat back and defended against this Brazilian side. He's, he's gone forward as uh, much as he dare, I suppose you could say, and so far, everything's going fine. Ooh. They tried to spin Jorginho wide right, and Ian Carter was back and made a nice play for Canada defensively. Aí, Aro Silva, trying to get away from Limniadas. Zinho, Aí, Leonardo, oh, is this lovely, a little cheeky, and they're not going to get away with it. Yeah, foul against Zinho, as he comes in against Dasevic, but beautiful skills and the capacity crowd here. Actually, there's still spectators coming into the ground, but... The large crowd here absolutely thrilled to see the Brazilian side push it around like this. Little one-two, little back healer, cheeky as you said, but the foul against Dasevic blown down right away as Zinho comes in from behind. But that's what the crowd came here to see. Good control, Dasevic goes down. Little back healers, first touch by the Brazilian squad absolutely fabulous there are only some 150 maybe 200 brazilians who live in the Edmonton area but there are certainly more than that here the no, mental, really here's really. a lovely home Canada stopping to look for offside as Romario and Babeto do a brilliant crossover. Watch this pass from Babeto and watch the run by Romario. Looked a little offside, but good work by Craig Forrest. Cut down the angle and forced Romario to push it wide. Watch this pass by number seven, Babeto. Behind him, brilliant run by Romario. The finish. Not what you'd expect from one of the world's top strikers, but boy, the crossover run was absolutely perfect. Almost got the feeling that Romario didn't know where he was, that he may have been a little too deep to try that. Going for the far post. Here's another opportunity again as he tried to find Romario, but this time it is Yellum getting back for Canada. As now with just over 20 minutes played in this first half, it is Brazil who take the play to Canada. Mobilio, Aldair will win the ball for him. On the modern age of football, of soccer, you work out your strategy on a computer. Well, I would have said if there was one team that a computer would not help, it would be Brazil, because they are so flexible, they, they make it up as they go along, so maybe the computers to see what they're going to have for dinner tonight. Now uh, they are uh, not computer-like in their play, certainly. The long ball to find Jorginho wide right, doesn't get by Ian Carter. Pomerio, here's Bobetto trying to get through. Bobetto tries to flip it over for us in pass. Brazil now getting a little more room. Zinho, Leonardo, 
Leonardo into the box. Play on, says the referee. Mr. Mendoza. Well, once again, the Brazilians' acceleration in the first touch catches Canada a little asleep at the back, but Craig Forrest a little too tall to be taken in by that chip. Forrest to the edge of the Brazilian box. Dasovic will try to control. Dasovic tried to slide it through and can't. Aldair was there for Brazil. As this crowd of some 55,000 getting more and more into this game. Aí. Now, here comes Brazil. Mauro Silva looking for Romero. Mark Watson. Oh, my. And Bebeto is guilty of the foul on Gasovic. The 30-year-old who plays his soccer with Deportivo in Spain. Again, Craig Forrest read it well, came off his line well, but what a brilliant pass by Bebeto. Cut it with the oh, outside of foot. Oh, looking for the foul, doesn't wow. get it. Aldair with some space right side. Dunga makes the run as they play it back instead. This is Homerio. Homerio! And Craig Forrest is there for Canada. Great goalkeeping by Craig Forrest, but what a delightful true ball cut once again with the outside of his foot straight into the path of Romario. Watch this through ball cut in there. Romario gets to it first, hits it for the far post. Brilliant save by Craig Forrest. This is a beautiful through ball cut with the outside of his foot. Romario gets to it first, it's heading for the far post, doesn't quite get enough pace on it, and Forrest is able to block it. So far, Greg Forrest looking very sound between the points for Canada. Jorginho. Hai. Now the through ball. Look at Jorginho. Jorginho to drop. Bebeto off the post. Bebeto was right there. And it remains scoreless. Brazil and Canada. Bebeto puts one off the post. This would have been a magnificent goal, a perfect cross to the far post. Greg Forrest stranded at the near post. Bebeto powers it, and it comes back off the post. What a run by Jorginho. Cuts it across. Bebeto times his run perfectly, or his jump perfectly, and it rattles off the post. Brilliant play, and you, you see how dangerous the Brazilian fullbacks are. Jorginho playing like a right winger. Clip that to the far post beautifully, and Babeto so close, but it's still scoreless. One of the criticisms of Carlos Alberto Pereira by the people in Brazil is that with so much offensive talent, he only plays two people up front in Babeto and Romario. But when you have people overlapping like Jorginho and Leonardo, you have four people. Yeah, the, the two people up front can become seven people up front in a big hurry with the four midfielders and two fullbacks. Mobilio for Canada. It'll be a throw in, Ian Carter. He plays with Peterborough in England. 
in Frazier. Square ball looking for Dasovic near side and will run too far. We've played 25 minutes, Brazil and Canada. The World Cup friendly on TSN. Welcome back to Commonwealth Stadium, Exhibition World Cup Soccer on TSN. Canada and Brazil. Mick Roder along with Graham Leggett. Gord Miller, Dick Howard along as well to provide some halftime analysis. Good opportunities for the Brazilians and they have failed to capitalize the best by Bebeto as his header rattled off the post. Bonadio gets away from Colin Miller. Bonadio lays it down. Aye. Bebeto. Mauro Silva. Mauro Silva makes the run. He still has a Mauro Silva as it rattles off Colin Miller and gathered in. Not in time for Canada and Craig Forrest. It will be a Brazilian corner. And the Brazilians are going to bring Aldair up, the big center back. Senior far post, Aldair is there. Punched away by Forrest as the Canadians actually got in the way of each other, Graham. Good timely tackle by Nick Dasovic as uh, Craig Forrest did well to pan out Aldair's header. The, the big center back, brilliant in the air. Senior again to take this corner for Brazil. Here, and punched away by Forrest, and then kicked away by Mobilio. Mauro Silva plays it back for Taparel. Not at all afraid to use Taparel as a sweeper. He can use the ball. Leonardo, Bebeto, yeah. oh, lovely given goal. Leonardo squares it through. And then neatly coming back was Frank Yellow. But they're turning it on, Graham. They're beginning now to find some more space. I think the ball cut back would have been more effective and good interception by Frank Yellop saves the day. Far post and punched away. Here's an opportunity. Dunga, Gino squares it. This is Bebeto. Gasovic over to challenge. Far post. And it'll run and stay in play as Ian Carter is there for Canada. Bob Leonard Doozy and his bench. Primo, Coach Allen Arrington alongside for 20 minutes staying with the Brazilians. And in fact, it's still scoreless. But the Brazilians have had the run of play for about the last 10 to 15 minutes. Lovely through ball as the defender Carter gets trapped. But across the oh Getting back and heading it over. Randy Samuel, member of Canada's World Cup side in 86 in Mexico. Well, this is a great interception by Randy Samuel, but it could quite easily have gone rocketing into the net. Did the wise thing, headed it over the crossbar, didn't risk putting it back into play. just seemed to hang there by the bar and Craig Forrest reached to the clouds to pull it down. Well, six foot six, Craig Forrest, no problem at all for the big goalkeeper, although... Oh, 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 oh. And hooked away as it got caught up. Nick Gasovic gets away from Leonardo, chips it through, looking for some oh. support and didn't get it as Corazine may have gotten a little bump. And the Brazilians will bring it back the other way. Aldair. Oh, 
Aldair, the late starter for the injured Ricardo Rocha. 50 raffle tickets are being sold in the fans at the Soul Station. And the Phoenix Theater, more tickets sold, more packs away. Kasovic wins it from Leonardo. Corazine. And simply not enough speed to get away from the Brazilians. Carlo Corazine quickly surrounded. Well, I think we should mention, Graham, that because this is a friendly, both sides have agreed that it they will make more than the two allowed substitutions. They will make as many as five outfield players as well as one goaltender. So we could have as many as six substitutions in the game. Dunga. Then the artist challenge and Dunga will take the free kick and take it quickly. Homario gets away. Mauro Silva. Ayi. Pepeto, Zinho is wide left. Homario, Pepeto, and the little given goal is given away. Played back by Forrest, and he'll play it past the midfield stripe. Morrissey tries to find some control and does. Modilio is wide left, but Morrissey looks to be a tired player right now. And being leaned on by Ricardo Gomes. Paul and Miller hooked it into the middle, and there were no Canadians there. Ayi. Aldair. Jorginho is wide right, and he'll make the deep run. It's an offside run, and now he hustles back. Oh, Mario. Looked like he might try to play it to himself there, Graham, and actually gave it away. Well, I think he was trying to play a one-two with Haye, and Haye didn't want anything to do with it. At midfield, this is Ian Fraser for Canada. To the captain, Colin Miller, to Lindiatis, Dasovic. And Dasovic charged with the foul as we play 35 minutes. And we are still scoreless. Brazil, Canada from Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. And the Brazilians, they are keen to get on with the free kick while uh, Mr. Mendoza was having a little walk with Dasovic. Now we're all ready to go again and uh, it's Brazil on the ball. And Aldair. They're quite content to just push it around. Just wait for the perfect opening, then they strike very quickly. Paro Silva, Jorginho, Aí. Through for Bebeto, and he's brought down. No Great foul. Tackle. Great tackle. Play on, says Mr. Mendoza. Looking for Mobilio. Gomes. Under some pressure from Carlo Corazine. Mobilio is up for a little more attacking support. Giveaway by Canada, and this is Homerio. Bebeto breaks wide right. Homerio! Good effort. Eight and a half minutes remaining first half. Canada, Brazil in Edmonton. Back to drive the original World Cup USA having more sponsor. Welcome back to Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Brazil. A World Cup friendly. Brazil's final tune-up game before they open the World Cup against Russia. Jorginho, Zinho, Romario, oh, Leonardo, Leonardo takes a shot and goes for the near post. A little selfish because there were three yellow shirts screaming for the ball, a beautiful ball by Romario, but what's the yellow shirts in the middle waiting for the cross and they're not at all pleased that it didn't come square. These pullbacks love to break through. Leonardo there playing like a left winger. A beautiful ball by Homario. They can almost sense, like as if they got eyes in the back of the head to see these runs made behind them. 
Ooh. Well, they come second nature, Graham, but that's just the place to be. That's the open space, and if I fill it, maybe the ball will come to me. No, maybe the ball will certainly come to me. Incredible. But so far, Canada more than holding their own. Leonardo near side. Coutinho at midfield. And the Brazilians now not making the kind of runs that we've seen for the past 15 or so minutes. Colin Miller surrounded by Dunga and Bebeto. Please send to the media center on the main concourse for her message. That's Lester George. Jorginho. Aí. Mauro Silva. John Limniatis. There to challenge for Canada. They as they look for Romario. Zinho and Mark Watson will head it into touch. Leonardo. Romario. Dunga. Zinho holds off the challenge. Here's Romario. Romario plays it through, and here comes Forrest. As he was looking for Babeto and Hayi to make runs. Not a bad ball at all, but Frank Yellop and Randy Samuel were goal side of the ball, and uh, Craig Forrest mopped up as he's done for most of the game. And the ball, as they try to spring, Zinho down this left wing runs into touch. And Mark the Watson, the 23-year-old who plays his soccer now in Watford in England. I was surprised that they started Mark Watson at right back and played Frank Yallop at center half because Frank's more comfortable at right back and and Mark certainly has been brilliant in qualifying as a center back but uh, obviously Bobby wanted the two experienced players Yallop and Samuel picking up Bebeto and Hamario. Samuel, who cut off the pass, Leonardo, the Bento. Romario's in the middle, it opened up the Bento and over the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, at that time, we'll be drawing the numbers of the Edmonton Journal Canada flag card. Big play by the Bento, brilliant run by Leonardo, created the space. Unfortunately, the final shot was high, but he certainly made space for himself beautifully. Leonardo starts the move, then takes the defender with him by making that run down the left. That gives Babeto a chance to cut inside. It sits beautifully for him, but that really isn't the finish he was looking for. Mark Watson to take the throw in for Canada. Looking for Mobilio. Dunga will take control. This is Aldair. And past Bebeto, who is caught a little flat-footed. Best opportunities have belonged to Brazil. One off the post by Bebeto. It remains goalless Canada. And Brazil, this World Cup friendly from Edmonton, Alberta, and Commonwealth Stadium. John Limniatis, as Colin Miller is out there, the Canadian captain directing traffic, pointing. Leonardo. And Graham, for one of the few times, we're seeing the Brazilians not making any kind of runs. And if they don't make space, they don't go anywhere either. Well, that's the first ball that Leonardo has wasted. He, he's been absolutely letter perfect so far. 
It looks like Mobilio may have taken a boot on the side of the face. Ooh. Randy Samuel hustles back with Pepeto, stride for stride. Well, I didn't see any collision with Dominic. Ball played away. Doesn't seem to be in any contact while the ball was there. Dominic maybe getting a little sunstroke, but certainly there was no contact made there. Jorginho went down on the far side of the field for Brazil, but he's up again and back into play. Ian Carter, as we're into the final few moments of this first half, Leonardo, Nick Dasovic! Oh, oh and Tafarel! Nick Dasovic must have heard me say in the pregame show the Brazilians will shoot from anywhere. That was a brilliant shot by Nick Dasovic. Tafarel, a little complacent about the shot, almost let it dribble over his shoulder into the net. Great shot by Dasovic. Gomes with the foul. And it is Carlo Carazine who is down. And... Carlo Carazine and Dominic Mobilio are having no success at all in challenging Ricardo Gomes and Aldair in the air. The two center backs for Brazil are brilliant and they go in very strongly for the ball. Looking for Lemney Odyssey and Carter moves up. Now it's hooked towards this far post. Gomez is up. Dasovic under pressure by Zinho. Dasovic trying to turn and can't. And it'll bounce off of the Canadian player. Throw in for Brazil. Into injury time by our watch. Frank Gallup from Ipswich will play it back to his Ipswich keeper. In Forest, in Forest. Kick will give the Brazilians a late throw in. Quickly taken by Leonardo. Romario. Bebeto makes a run, looks to deep point. Romario. Romario! Romario! Yeah. You can't back off Romario because he just slides past you, and that's what we came here to see. The Brazilian flags are waving, and the Romario, they expected this kind of performance. That's the kind of brilliant goals that have gotten fame and fortune for Barcelona. Great for us, really powerless. Romario decides to do it all on his own. Canadian defenders thinks it could be a 1-2. He keeps possession, chips it through, cuts inside, fakes to shoot, creates space. Forrest gets a hand to it, but cannot prevent it going into the far corner. Brilliant goal, typically Brazilian. And from behind the goal, Craig Forrest can see it from this angle. Beats 1-2, three people with just a little pass to himself. Decides this is not the angle he wants to shoot from. Good effort by Craig Forrest, but it's 1-0 Brazil. And Romario's goal comes in the 45th minute, just before the whistle from Mr. Mendoza to end this first half here at Colorado Stadium in Edmonton. So Brazil on the board with a 1-0 lead over Canada. And Romario quick to answer questions from the more than 150 members of the Brazil media who have come to Edmonton to cover this World Cup friendly. Still to come, halftime highlights with Graham as well as Dick Howard and his analysis. When we return to Edmonton, it's World Cup Exhibition Soccer, Brazil and Canada, and it's only right here on PSN. Son, and will he be happy with that first half? Well, he'll be happy with the opposition because it is a real test for his team, and uh, I just hope that he gives some of his younger players a chance to play in the second half. Let us have a look at them before we go into the World Cup. Let's get accustomed to seeing them because we'll see a lot of them during this upcoming USA 94. But as we look down on the field, Graham, no substitutions, it appears, for either side as it is still Bebento and Romario up front. Jorginho at midfield. Ie into the middle. 
And if this game goes to plan, then the Brazilians will find just a little more space in the second half. The first half was uh, always going to be rather tight. But with the skill of the Brazilians, they could well find more spaces in the second 45 minutes. Dunga. And as you and I have discussed with the new format in the first round, three points for a win, that's what we might expect to see in the World Cup as well as Mobilio lays it off to Ian Carter. Good tackle. Great tackle by Aldair. Timed it perfectly. But with three points now as Lyndon Hooper makes his first touch. Lyndon Hooper is into the game for Canada as he replaces... John Limniatis for Canada. Lyndon Hooper wearing number eight plays his soccer in Birmingham, England. Not a bad move by Bobby Lanarduzzi. John Limniatis was more of a ball winner in midfield. Uh, Lyndon Hooper perhaps more of a creative player than Limniatis. And uh, obviously Bobby wants to try and get a goal in this game. But you agree that, in fact, as we get a look at a substitution for Brazil, this is 16. This is Mazinho, the 27-year-old defender, plays in the Brazilian National League for Palmeiras, and he replaces Mauro Silva. So both coaches making early substitutions. This is Zinho. Mark Watson heads it away. Wants it. Oh, it's too tight. And finally played back by Colin Miller. Looking forward for Carlo Corazine. And he's onside. Corazine will take control. Corazine looking for some help. Hooper is making the run. Oh, Corazine didn't see Hooper on his right, frame, And maybe that's where the ball should have gone. That was a good tackle by number six, Leonardo. But uh, Lyndon Hooper had given Carlo Corazine a shout. Then they could well have broken down the right wing. Good play already by Lyndon Hooper, just into the game. And Hooper has the ball, lays it off for Ian Carter. Dominic Mobilio near side. Mobilio, one-on-one -on -one with Jorginho, and he didn't win that. Mazzinho. Dunga. Can't get it by Hooper. I'm not really surprised that Mauro Silva, the number five midfielder for Brazil, who plays for Deportiva La Coruña, came off. He looked like one of the training staff. Must have been 250 pounds. And in this heat, uh, he was not doing well at all. Mazinho, uh, much more alert, much more apt to create spaces in midfield for the Brazilians. I know you expect the games now with three points in the first round to be quite tight first half and then the teams will open it up in the second. I think that's how you have to play in the first round of the World Cup. You have to be tight in the first half and then with three points for a win, open it up if things are not going your way. Right now, Brazil really don't have to try and open it up because they're, they're up one to nil. But if Canada were to get a goal, then you'd see them turn it on. And I expect that to happen in the first half offside against... Uh, Mr. John Nielsen on the far side. There could be some surprises. That three points, I think, is a terrific rule change because some of these favorites, if they happen to be upset early, to be down three points in that first round will force them then to oh, okay. open it up. Well, in a nutshell, what it means is that the World Cup, for the first time in a long time, is going to start from round one and not from round two as it used to. Jorginho. Plays the ball square. Here's Romario trying to go through himself. The Beto lays it back. This is Massinho. Jorginho. Dunga. The Beto. The Beto tries to slide it through. Offside. And offside indeed. Yeah. Near side linesman Gordon Rogers. But what a beautiful ball. There's rumors that Bebeto and Hamario could not play together. Boy, they've clicked beautifully. Randy Samuels did well to get goal side of this, but this is a beautiful ball. Hamario just a little too far in front is offside, and actually it was Mark Watson who did well to play it back for us. This would have gone anyway. But these little one-twos are just a delight to watch. Looking for Carlo Corazzi. Ian Carter. 
Ian Frazier. Algaia takes control now midfield. Dunga. Leonardo on the wide left. Bebeto, Amario are up front. The overlap with Zinho. And then his pass is cut off. Cooper will try to play it up. In the Atos. Dunga. Leonardo. Zinho. Leonardo. Zinho. Surrounded and plays it back. Dunga. We'll play it all the way back now. For Aldair. Mobilio giving chase. Oh my. Jorginho hooked it off the chest of Ian Carter. And Jorginho is a fullback. Brilliant first touch. We've never seen him in his fullback position. Here is Dunga. Hit it. Does it open up for him? Here's Babetto. Babetto! <laughs> oh, my word. He thought he had a goal written all over that move. Brilliant run, brilliant pass. Craig Forrest once again forcing him to shoot it wide. I thought for sure that Dunga would shoot this ball. Instead, he slips a beautiful ball to Babetto, turns beautifully, and it just goes past the far post. This is a beautiful turn by Babetto. Gets clear, full master for it, forces him to shoot it wide. But boy, these through balls are just so difficult to mark, and Babetto looks to the heavens and said, why did that not go in? Consolation and, pat in the back. Yeah, Mark that's Watson. right. The courtesy played by paid by Mark Watson to say you had a heck of a go. Homerio. Chip it, chip it. Homerio. Brazil has more chances. They continue to lead. It's one nothing Brazil over Canada from Edmonton. Welcome back as Brazil quickly on the attack again. Another chance. Zinho making the run on that left side as it just opened up and the space was there, Graham, and he simply took it. And once again, the Brazilians opting to shoot when Babeto, Romario, and Jai were all nicely placed in the center. Boy, they just break from defense to attack so quickly. What's the support come up in the middle? Babeto, Homario, Hai, all there, and it goes wide to the far post once again. Cut it back, and it would have been 2 0 Brazil. Looking for Carlo Corazin in Canada. Randy Samuel. Dasovic can't control. Mark Watson plays it into empty space. Gomez makes the run. And it will run too far and be a throw in for the Brazilians. Leonardo. Dunga. Looking for Ai. This is Dunga. Dunga. Still in control. Dunga! Oh, good save by Forrest. As he waited and then, as you suggest, hit it. Well, that's the first time that Dunga, when the ball's been sitting nicely, has decided to do it on his own instead of slipping it through to Bebeto or Hamario. And, and you can see, if you back away from these Brazilians, they'll have a go. Beautifully hit. Great Forrest once again comes up with a big save. And Forrest off the corner. Forced to punch it over the bar and once again... Give another corner to Brazil, and there's Bebeto. And Bebeto actually tried a shot from the corner kick then. Forrest tipped it over the bar. Here's an opportunity for Mario! <laughs> oh. Hey, Romario thought he'd got number two there, but Craig Forrest once again certainly earning his money in goal for Canada. Very difficult corner kick to, to clear. It's curving in. Little flick. Forrest pushes it out. Crowd of red shirts between Hamario and the goal. Really no chance to force it home. Carlo 
Ahora she can't get to the through ball. Aldair for Brazil. Nice sliding tackle by Ian Carter. Jorginho. We wonder if Bobby Lenarduzzi will bring on John Catlett because Corazine and Mobilio are having no luck in the air at all against Ricardo Gomez and Aldair. Big John certainly available on the bench. Could give them that extra challenge for the true ball. There isn't a lot of size in those two front runners for Canada. Taparel makes his first oh, touch sorry. of the second half, and now we have an offside call near sideline. Gordon Rogers. And it looks as if we will get a substitution as uh, linesman Gordon Rogers holds the flag up. Jeff Onger is there as well for Canada, wearing number 20. Wearing number 9 is John Catliff, the 29-year-old, plays with the Vancouver 86ers. A two-time Golden Boot winner has top scorer in the Canadian Soccer League, John Catliff, but he has been bothered by a bit of a wonky knee. And so he replaces Carlo Corazine, John Catliff, into the game for Carlo Corazine. And Carlo Corazine certainly takes a lot of credit from his performance, challenged well. Give Ricardo Bogovic and all the air a couple of worrying moments, but really the size of the two centre-backs a little much for uh, Carlo Corazine to handle. And this is where Catliff will maybe give Canada just a little bit more. Yellow plays it back and Forrest downfield. And it's Catliff giving chase as the two keepers will play between themselves. Cooper can't control. Massinho. Bebeto. Oh, here he goes. Omario. Beautiful. Bringing Zinho. Zinho. Zinho waits. Here's Bebeto. Bebeto once. Bebeto twice. Bebeto! And he puts it by the far post. Hey, 10 out of 10 to Craig Forrest, who stones. Babetto once again. Babetto showing all his tricks there as he faked the shoot, pulled it past a couple of defenders. Brilliant control. Could have shot there and scored. Wanted to walk it in, but look at Craig Forrest all the way out. Flicks it past the far post for a corner kick. Great goalkeeping by the Ipswich Town keeper. Just got his left foot to it. It remains 1-0 Brazil. He, oh, Forrest! Oh, Forrest, what a save! Oh, man! can't get to it another corner for brazil and forrest is saying wait a second here how many do you want to give me? well those of you who came to see the homario show are being entertained by the forest show brilliant goalkeeping the better to take this corner homario is there ie is there looking for romario punch to him by forrest mobilio dominic mobilio now he's up there all by himself Mazzino is there to mark him and push in a touch. Dominic Mobilio now has his teammate John Catliff alongside up front and they together really were a dominant twosome in the Canadian Soccer League. The old one-two for the 86ers. Well, Craig Forrest has been absolutely outstanding. This header is flicked on, it's heading for the net. Brilliant save. And it's still 1-0, thanks mainly to Craig Forrest. Jorginho, this is Romario. Can't get through Randy Samuel. And for the first time in this game, the first touch of Romario lets him down. Not what you expect from the superstar strike. Leonardo lays it off. Leonardo has it back edge of the box. Leonardo trying to get by Dasovic. Leonardo. And as Dasovic gets in the way. We have a winner of the University of Alberta Golden Bear Brilliant play for a fullback by Leonardo, but of course Nick Dasovic, a very versatile player, can play center back, fullback, or in midfield, so he's quite uh, able to contain that. And Jeff Unger comes into the game now. And he'll replace Ian Carter. Jeff Unger, who spent half a dozen years in the Canadian Soccer League, now plays with Luton Town in England. It's remarkable, Graham, how many players out of the Canadian Soccer League have found employment now playing overseas. And one of their star players, of course, Alex Bunbury, is missing this series with a broken jaw that he suffered in his final league game playing in Portugal. And I know Alex is really missing not playing against Brazil. He would have loved to have played against Ricardo Gomes and Aldair. And I think he would have done well. 
substitution yet on here for Carter in the 60th minute. As we say, the substitutions will be many in this friendly. Oh, it's played back, looking for Bobetto by Jorginho, who has control now deep on the right side. And Jeff Audrey, in his first touch, will take it and strip it from Jorginho. Dominic Mobilio lays it off to the Canadian captain. This is Colin Miller from St. Johnstone. Scottish Premier Division, Mobilio. Oh, try to play it to Hooper, and it's given away. This is Dunga. Offside. Offside, it was Romario and Bobetto on the far left. Breaking too quickly. And now a third substitution coming up for Canada, as they will be allowed five outfield players as well as the goaltender coming in wearing number 21 the 24 year old Eddie Verdusco who plays with second division Will in Switzerland as he replaces Dominic Mobilio Bobby Leonard is he doing the the right thing this is a marvelous learning experience and he's bringing as many players into the game as possible oh there was Aldair forced to play it back under some pressure and the other thing too Graham the Canadian side as we say have a lot of games coming up they play Germany Wednesday Friday it's Spain and Montreal and then back to Toronto against Holland a week from today Bob Leonard Uzi his side trail, 1-0, with under 30 minutes to play. And he's concerned, should I put a wall up here? It's 40 yards out, but we know the Brazilians can hit it. Doesn't have to bother, they've taken it quickly, and now they'll build it up instead. Jeff Onger for Lyndon Hooper. It'll skip by, and then the 2 8 duel, Dunga and Hooper. Leonardo lays it off, Massinho tried to give a goal with Leonardo, and that didn't work. Miller. Mark Watson looking for Catliff and Catliff runs square into Ricardo Gomez. Chip on now as he for the first time in this game the Commonwealth field is totally in cloud in shadow. Dasovic Dasovic into the box. Catliff the two score up. Hunter has moved up as well. They'll lay it back for Watson. Lyndon Hooper. Hooper under some pressure. And then Hooper hoping that Dasovic would come back. Didn't. Well, really, Miller should never have given the ball to Lyndon Hooper. Three yellow shirts on him. He should have just knocked it into the box and let John Catliff challenge for it. Because since coming on, Catliff has won two balls in the air. That's two more than... Mobilio and Corazin won the whole of the first and second half, so Catliff really in there to win the long balls in the air. Oh, what a lovely ball on this right side now for Jorginho, but Petro is calling for it. Oh, they go over the far post. Aldair had his arm up, but he needed a ladder. Dasovic to midfield for Dusko. Watson, Jeff Onger calling for it, wide left for Canada. Then they go up the right side, and Gomes cuts off the pass for Catlin. Well, Jeff Unger was way out in the left, chanting for the ball, but it really would have been a marvelous pass for Mark Watson to get it all the way across to the left wing. Virtually impossible. Substitution now for Brazil, and coming out of the game will be Rai, and going in will be number 20. This is Paulo Sergio, the 25-year-old who plays for Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Gomes, also in the game wearing number 13, is Cafu. There you see him from Sao Paulo. One of the few players playing in Brazil in this national side. Cafu is replacing Jorginho, Graham, at the right fullback position. Well, that's going to be a break for Canada because Jorginho has been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Catliff and Aldair come together. That's 13 in for number three. So both sides now have made three substitutions and they'll be allowed to make two more 
Paulo's head at you. No problem for Craig Forrest. What a marvelous game this young goalkeeper's had. Had a super season with Ipswich Town. Kept Ipswich in the first division by tying no score against Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. And today he just shows why he's one of the best young goalkeepers in England. Forrest looking for Catlett. Paolo Sergio. Cafu. Randy Samuel, Jeff Archer. Oh, how quickly the Brazilians are on your back. Dunga. Leonardo, wide left. Zinho is in the middle. Bebeto, Hamadi are still there. Paolo Sergio has moved up as well. Here's the chip. Mario gets up. There's quite a contest there for Mario and Wendy Samuel. Both coming out of this game with a lot of credit. Good challenge by Samuel. Remarkable when you look at him. I mean, they do call him. His nickname is the Brazilian Maradona. He does have the same kind of stature, doesn't he? He's low to the ground. Same kind of build, same kind of yep. balance. Catlett can't control Verdusco as Cafu puts it away. Frazier, Cooper, Onger, one touch. Colin Miller, will he get there in time? No, it'll run too quickly. There are so many of the fans that are taking this long to count the ground. Give us up a big round of applause. Cafu, Colin Miller giving chase. Cafu makes the run, now it's Ian Frazier who takes over. Cafu trying to get through and draw the penalty play on, says the referee, Mr. Mendoza. Well, we thought we got rid of an overlapping fullback when Jorginho oh. went off, but Cafu just went 80 yards there and crossed it in. That's one of the interesting things. That's what That comes right out of their, their game notes. Cafu, he plays both defense and midfield. Aldair. Dunga at midfield. Verdusco there to mark him. This is Cafu. Dunga. Ricardo Gomez. Homerio. Leonardo. Leonardo. Near post. Sergio. Paolo Sergio into the open arms. And Craig Forrest. Jeff Onger to midfield. Catliff. Heals it off and it comes back to Catlett. Onger. Nasovic is wide right for Canada. They'll go through the middle for Dusko to Hooper and this is the Canadian captain, Colin Miller. Has a look for Dasovic. Dasovic airs for Dusko, surrounded by three yellow shirts. Moving up is Mark Watson. Chips it into the box looking for Dasovic, but it doesn't reach him. Paolo Sadagio. Who? And Tafanel, who, except for a couple of challenges, won by Dasovic midway through the first half, hasn't been very busy. Paolo Sergio looking for the call from Mr. Mendoza. Doesn't get it. Jeff Onger. is played through watch Eddie Verdusco catch them short at the back takes one step to control hammers it into the far side and Brazil caught dreaming as Eddie Verdusco makes it one all this really is a beautiful ball chip through no cover in the Brazilian defense and the finish is clinical absolutely clinical 
the speed of Eddie Verdusco catches the Brazilian defense, napping, and it's one all. Eddie Verdusco, who was the Canadian Soccer League Rookie of the Year in 1988, the Golden Boot winner in 1992 when he scored 14 goals, will likely, possibly never score one bigger than that. He has scored against Brazil. We're all even. Canada, Brazil from Edmonton. And Brazil have been in cruise control. Let's see if they can turn it up a couple of gears. Oh, Almost. There was Zinho putting it up over the bar. Oh, my. It's 1-1 Canada-Brazil on TSN. Welcome back to Commonwealth Stadium, and it is still buzzing. Eddie Verdusco's goal in the 70th minute as Canada, even with Brazil, 1-1. Pick Rotor along with Graham Leggett, as well as Gord Miller and Dick Howard to provide analysis of this friendly between Brazil and Canada. And you know, John Catlett didn't really touch the ball in that move, but he helped create that goal because he took big Aldair out of the central position. Eddie Berdusco turned quickly, there was no cover, and boy, the finish was beautiful. This is Aldair, Pomario, here's Bobetto making the run, and Porras will beat him to the ball. A remarkable crowd on hand, they had sold more than 47,000 tickets, and on an exceptional day here at the Finley, that was a crowd in the 55,000 area and they've been treated to a terrific game Lyndon Hooper so he looked for Dasovich making the run on the right Graham but it was cut off Offside near side line Mr. Gordon Rogers calling it down and Babetto giving uh the linesman and the referee, Mr. Mendoza, a little bit of an argument, but uh, I think he's going to lose. And the Canadians are going to make another substitution, Graham, as coming in wearing number 18 is Rudy Delascat, who plays for the Montreal Impact of the APSL. Delascat scored the long goal against Morocco this past week, and he replaces Nick Dasovic. Rudy Delascat from Montreal. Good move, strong runner. He'll challenge for every ball in midfield and uh, get a chance to break through. Nick Dasovic did very well filling that hole over in the right wing. Big kick. Dunga getting the yellow card because he, he just clipped John Catlett while he passed him. Mazzino, the 27-year-old, gets the yellow card from the referee, Mr. Mendoza. Strong challenge by Catliff and Miller, and down goes Catliff. Now watch as he goes past. It's Dunga. It's not number 16, Mazzini. It's Dunga that just clipped Catliff with his foot. Played into the box, so oh, and it went just the other way as Verdusco looked to make the flick towards Catliff. The yellow card, though, is given to Mazzino Graham, or do you think it was Dunga that got the yellow card? Oh, it was Dunga that kicked Catliff. If Mazzino got it, he's got a complaint to his partner. And maybe that's why he did go after Mr. Mendoza and say, don't give it to me. And it's headed back. And, of course, Forrest could pick that ball up with his hands if it's headed back. Played back with the feet, of course, he couldn't. Now, that's something that you don't disagree. It's you, you think the rule should be total and complete. If you pass it back to that all, then you shouldn't be able to play. Well, I think the, the terminology should be play it back. That means throw-ins, headers, hips, thighs, anything. Right now, it's kick it. It's kick it to the goalkeeper. It doesn't even say back. It could be square. And right now, Brazil have lost the poise. Uh, it's amazing what a goal can do for a team. Canada look like the world champions now instead of Brazil. But... Oh, 
Eddie Verdusco, John Catliff, a couple of substitutions have turned the fortunes around here for Canada, and it is Catliff, as you say, a little bigger, Graham, drawing a little more attention. No doubt about it, he's very strong in the air, and uh, he's getting attention. Dulles Ooh. Cats, oh Ooh. my. You have to hand it to John Catliff. His knee is swollen up like uh, one of these beautiful Adidas balls they're playing with, but he's on there, he, he wants to do his best, and he always gives 100%. Jeff Hollinger will take the corner from this near side. To the worst of our post! Oh. Up and over Taffarel and Eddie Verdusco. Oh, hit the corner flag. Stayed in play. And now Dolescat will have the throw in. Everybody turned away thinking it might be Brazilian and the keeper's ball. And I'd love to be in the press room right now listening to the 30 or 40 radio stations beaming this back to Brazil just to see what they're giving as an excuse for the fact that it's Canada won, Brazil won, unheard of. Remarkable coverage given to this national team. Free kick, feet up. And once again, Randy Samuel and now John Catliff positioned at the far post and Brazil have lost the poise. Colin Miller will take this free kick. Far post, look at Catliff! Oh, and Tupperell is there to keep it even. Taparel does that so well. We watched him practice for half an hour yesterday. He didn't come off his line, but he always blocked the header. Deep run. Zinho. Zinho. Mark Watson watching. This is Leonardo. Just outside the box. Leonardo. Zinho. Babetto is up. Omario. Now he'll hit it to Dunga. Dunga! And over the bar. Well, there we go. Remarkable attendance. Just shy of 52,000 on hand at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. And they have been treated to a wonderful game. It's 1-1 Canada and Brazil. Congratulations, Edmonton. The largest crowd ever to watch a soccer game in Canada and the Canadian team responding to it. over midfield, Catliff wins the ball, this is Verdusco, Verdusco, Vergolescat chips it right back, here comes Taparel. From Taparel to Greg Forrest. Substitutes are playing well, but does go to Hooper, chip to the far post. Catlett challenges Cafu, and it's an easy save for Tafarel. Jeff Hunter. Oh, he gives it away at midfield. Mazzino, then surrounded by red shirts. Ian Fraser for Verdusco. Hooked away by Cafu, and now the Brazilians will try and slow it down. Paulo Sergio gives it away at midfield. Linden Hooper looking for a little help. Dolescat. This is Verdusco. Oh, nice sliding tackle by Ricardo Gomez to take the ball all the way from Verdusco. Leonardo down the far sideline. He will win the free kick.
Marcinho. Aldair. Cafu. Aldair as the Brazilians play it square. Zinho. Romário. Leonardo. And it bounces off Rudy Dallascat. Laid off for Dunga. Oh, lovely Dallario. Pabetto, 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 and it rattles off of Jeff Andrew. Eight red chips back there to form the thin red line right along the edge of the penalty box. Impossible for Romario to get it through. Romario quickly feels the presence of Randy Samuel on his back. And then the through ball forward for Eddie Verdusco is too far. Oh, Gomez. <laughs> they love to put work on the ball, even if it's dangerous. Cafu. Little heel pass. Cafu. Alo Sergio. Sabeto. Romario. Gino are all in the box. Paolo Sergio far post. And over Bepetto. Gino. This is Leonardo. Leonardo. Bepetto. Oh, and the better should have played the one-two back to Leonardo. He could have walked it in. It's called hurry up now for Brazil as they look to possibly get the winner here. It's 1-1, Canada and Brazil. A reminder to stay with us right after the game for the TSN turning point. Brought to you by Armour All. It's 1-1, Canada and Brazil. This World Cup friendly exhibition prior to USA 94. Dunga, square for Aldair. Roberto makes a little bit of an overlapping run towards the middle as they play it square. Halfway line, now Dunga chips it forward for Paulo Sergio. Frank Forrest had an idea, Graham, about coming out, and then he hustled back. And Paolo Sergio saw him do that, try to chip it over the goalkeeper, but good work by Ian Fraser. Never give Paolo Sergio one inch of room to move. Five minutes remaining. 1-1, Canada and Brazil. sideline gets away from Hooper and now it is Colin Miller with the challenge and Miller is going to pick up the yellow card for bringing down Mozinho from Mr. Mendoza well Mr. Mendoza has been at least consistent in awarding these yellow cards Colin Miller came in from behind on Mozinho referee right there players will accept that as long as he's consistent Brazil plays the ball square, right side, this is Cafu, Aldair, Paulo Sergio, Bebeto, Romario, all in the box, but the ball to the far post is too far. Don't forget on the way out of the pit, you have to grab your Miller for going in here, but he did come in from behind on Massinho and the referee from Mexico, Mr. Mendoza quick to reach for the yellow card 50,000 at Commonwealth Stadium Canada won Brazil won how many people would have thought that would be the scenario with about four minutes to go not very many as the ball ricochets between Gomes and Catliff Leonardo far left Roberto, Omario, Paulo Giorgio are all up front Mazzino gets the ball right back Romario, Romario, all oh, this time, again that 
first touch was failing on Graham. You pointed that out earlier. Good challenge by Colin Miller, so. One one with Brazil wants to wish a happy seventh birthday to his daughter, Sonny. And we wish you a happy birthday as well, Sonny. And celebrate. It's a happy birthday in a one one tie. Catlift gets up, and there's the size, Graham, paying some dividends for Canada. Again, he wins the ball over Mazzino. Rudy Dulliscat in the sunshine again here at Commonwealth. Forward and cleared away by Gomes. Well, if you believe what they were saying, some of the reporters before, Graham, this is going to be a disaster for Brazil and their soccer. There's going to be a lot of analysis. Verduzco cuts it back, and it didn't get through to Catlin. You got to give full marks to Yallop, Samuel, Watson, and Fraser. The back four for Canada, along with the goalkeeper Craig Forrest, have been absolutely magnificent. Oh, and look at Onger. He has won the corner. And uh, yeah, Bobby Leonard is. He wants to win this game. He's not keeping Randy Samuels back to Mark Pomerio. is bringing him right up to the far post. Catlett at the near post for the flick on. Samuel at the far post. Javonger, far post, Verduzco, and oh, Cafu got up. Aldair was there as well. It'll be a throw-in for Canada. And Aldair, the centre-back, limping badly after that challenge. Oh, Here is Verduzco. Verduzco, edge of the area. Mazzino is there, looking for a little help, a little overlap with Catliff, and then he's surrounded. Catlett will win it back. Uh, he's going to have to give the free kick. So coming in from behind once again. In this World Cup, you'll see every tackle from behind blown up right away. And I'm really surprised that Brazil did not have the ability to raise the game once they've been that equalizing goal by the Discord did score. Leonardo. Leonardo. Romario is wide right. Oh, my goodness. He laid it off. I don't know if he thought the Jeff Anger was a Brazilian or not, but he gave it nicely to him. Well, maybe Jeff Anger, if he knows a little Brazilian call for it, just said square. One last substitution for Brazil. As coming out is Aldair, who was limping, as you say, and coming in wearing number 15 is Marcio Santos. And number three, Into the final few minutes here at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. Canada won. Brazil won. This final tune-up for the Brazilians before USA 94. Mixing through and no problem. 1-1 one, one bounce. Greg Forrest is there in front of a charging Perpetual. Deserving a tie. Brazil got no complaints about the result. Amario, the goal scorer for Brazil. Eddie Verduzco on a substitute, the goal scorer for Canada. 1 1. An unbelievable day here at Commonwealth Stadium. Fred Forrest. What a performance. 
The young goalkeeper was absolutely magnificent, and Taparel, the first to shake his hand. Brilliant. Come on, we can do better than that as they leave the field with another standing ovation. Nearly 52,000 on hand, and the Canadians have reason to celebrate their 1-1 tie with Brazil. And won't this raise a lot of questions about the Brazilian side? Not only now have they finished a game where they tie 1-1, they have to face the Brazilian media. Lyndon Hooper coming on as a substitution. Craig Horst acknowledges this record crowd. What a day it's been. Canada-Brazil, 1-1 in Edmonton.